and welcome to another video. So it's been a long time since I've been able to sit down and kind of give an update. So I thought I would make a life after PT school summarization video of everything that I've had going on the past few months with COVID going on and doing my clinicals and finishing up school with that. So keep watching. Okay, so I think the last time I may have made a video was maybe at the beginning of the year, kind of pre-COVID. And a few of the things I've kind of had going since then, when February hit, I had just all clinical work left in school. So from February until August, I was doing all of my clinicals and I made it through about five weeks through my third rotation. My clinic ended up closing. It was closed for about three weeks and then I, moved to another clinic where it was kind of a two-on-one type setup with one of my classmates. It was the two of us with her CI. And I finished up that third clinical rotation, did five weeks there, and then I was able to kind of get back on track with everything for finishing school and my clinicals on time. So I had my PEATS and practice tests and started studying for boards and started my last clinical rotation in May. So from May into July, I was just doing all clinical work and studying for boards. Didn't have any interruptions with that clinical. I learned so much. And it was really strange trying to go through a job hunt with the pandemic going on, especially since I was planning on doing travel therapy at first. So my goal is to do travel therapy and be a contract traveler with like, um, one of the big companies that I can just kind of go around the country and work for, but that didn't end up working out. One of the recruiters that I was working with, um, that I really was hoping to kind of, uh, work with her the most, she basically ended up telling me like, Hey, things aren't going great because of the pandemic right now. You might actually be better off just getting a full-time job somewhere. So I just started applying, applying, applying like crazy on like Indeed, Monster, updated my LinkedIn, all of that. This is everything going on in the course of like June, July-ish. So finally, towards the end of July, I was starting to get some call, calls back and getting some uh, traction as far as finding a job in an area that I might want to stay in. I was applying for a permanent, for hospital, for outpatient, for PRN, everything. And I landed the best job that I could in the scenario. I'm currently working for uh, an outpatient company. I am a national traveler. So I made a post about what an internal traveler is on my Instagram, if you haven't seen that. So an internal traveler is someone that works for one company and they go to different locations around the country or a region, whatever that company has set up. So for me, I can go anywhere around the country where they have locations. And I actually recently decided I just wanna kind of stay in the state that I'm currently in right now, just um, for the sake of like the pandemic things going on and just to have a little bit more continuity. Best thing about having an internal travel job is I don't have to worry about learning more than one documentation. I have my benefits that go with me everywhere, my 401k, all of that good stuff that you get with a regular permanent job. I have with my travel job, but I also get all of the perks of getting housing, lodging, things like that. I can make another separate video that goes a little bit more into detail about internal travel at another time. But um, one of the biggest updates I have for you guys is, I guess, boards and everything. So I'm gonna make another video about passing boards, studying for boards, and like everything boards. But that video has been put on hold just because the first time I tried to make it, I didn't pass my test. So that's why I've kind of been off of Instagram for a while and I wasn't on social media for a ton. So I had to sit down and regroup and just trying to figure out my game plan for everything. And I'm just so happy where I am now with being able to say I've passed. 
On my second attempt, I have my license, I have the job that I'm happy with, the location and um, that I'm happy at, and I'm just really feeling happy right now and for how it worked out. So I've currently been working with my company in my position for the past three weeks now. And it, the first week was pretty rough for, with that transition from student to clinician and especially not having like someone hovering over you for how to do things. The biggest difference and the, um, the biggest difference and the thing that I've noticed is like when you're a student, they're like, oh, you stretch them this way, you document this way, and you have one person kind of like the end all be all for how you should do things because that's the person who's grading you. But as my own like treating clinician, I ask for advice from my coworkers sometimes and they tell me like, I don't know, like you're the therapist, do what you wanna do. So that's been a very interesting experience and transition on its own. But just want to give an update about like kind of that transition period and everything that's been going on with me being kind of in my A lately. And let you guys know that I will be trying to make some content. I've had people ask me questions about GRE, about studying about for the GRE. Um, I know some people might be curious to know like my board's story about like not passing and how I went to re um, study and um, retake the test. So it's been really busy with trying to get a schedule and get a handle on things for how to do at work, but I definitely want to work on that and give content about that for anybody that might be interested. As always, just feel free to just message me on Instagram or comment on the video for any questions or anything that you have that I can kind of help you with. Obviously, I don't know everything, uh, but I'm happy to kind of share my advice, my experience and perspective, and really just about physical therapy and PT school because I have had people ask me for like life advice and that's not together at all, not, not over here. Yeah, just related to school and physical therapy and within my expertise, please. So I hope you guys are staying safe and things are going great for everyone who's still in school with that whole transition with hybrid classes and all. Um, and I will see you in the next video or whenever I can post something again. So bye.